Hi guys! Starlink is a satellite internet surface offered by SpaceX. Now it's aimed for high-speed, low-latency broadband internet access. That's why it's designed to offer speed up to 1 gigabyte per second. But how do we maintain the fast speed while extend your internet signal up to 400 feet? Today we receive a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened to him. Our customer is running a small launch. He has a main router at the office that is a Starlink satellite system. And he's looking to extend its surface to three buildings approximately 400 feet away from the main router. And there's AC 120 volt power available at all sites. Extend Starlink internet to more than one location beyond 328 feet is not that simple. And in our customer's case, the Wi-Fi network requires high bandwidth. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a fiber optic cable to deal with all the issues. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you for completely free of charge. Just send us some simple drawing or a diagram. So our goal here is to supply Wi-Fi to three buildings that 400 feet away from the main router. That's why we decided to use the fiber optic cable to provide indoor Wi-Fi for each, each building. Now why don't we use the PoE in this case? Because we all know the PoE has a limitation of 328 feet. Beyond that range, the signal will start dropping. Therefore, we use the fiber optic cable instead, so we don't need to add any extension tool in this case. The fiber optic cable can provide high speed, low latency, and long distance range up to 80 kilometers. So it is perfect choice for our customer's case here. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you what we need and explain the details along the way. So here we are in front of the board and behind me is the setup. We can see one, two, three access points here to pretend like the, the three buildings that we're about to connect. Now let's see what kind of devices that we need. Here we are. This is the 8-port fiber optic SFP switch. You can see it has a 1GB SFP port and 2GB uplink RJ45 port. The gigabyte speed fiber port delivers high-speed network for multiple devices such as the IP cameras or access point to reach long-distance fiber optic link. And with the gigabyte uplink port, the switch can uplink to a backbone or high-capacity service. It can greatly simplify the task of upgrading the LAN for catering to increase the bandwidth demand. Now, we also know that the router normally doesn't have the fiber optic connector with it. And also, it is using the electrical signal. That's why we need this. This is a media converter. This converter can convert the electrical signal into a op fiber optical signal in order to connect with the fiber optic cable. Now, it also has to install the SFP transceiver. The SFP transceiver is normally sold separately because we have to determine what kind of fiber optic cable that you use. Is it a single mode or a multi-mode or what kind of distance or the connector? And this is where you connect with the fiber optic cable. Now, those are the things that we require for today's use. So now let's do the connection together and talk about it some more. Let's do the connection together from the beginning and pretend this is the router connected to the Starlink. Now this is the 8 port fiber optic SFP switch that I talked about and let me power it up first. And I'm going to connect the switch with the main router connected it to the uplink port. And you can see the light is on. It's pretty simple. And I'm going to insert three SFP transceiver because we have three buildings 
to connect. Now, this is the fiber optic cable that we're about to use. It has four string from A to D, and this is already pre-made it, so we don't need to worry about the connector, and it's 100% tested in the factory, and it can provide high speed, low latency, and long distance run. Now, let's use the string A first, <clears throat> and string B, and last, let's use string C here. So we have the string D for spare use. All right, let's check. Everything is connected over this side. So let's move over to the building side. So the fiber optic cable can provide distance up to 80 kilometers. So we're here. And remember, we have to use the media converter because the access point are using electrical signals. So we need to transfer it to a fiber optical signal in order to sense the power. And our customer said there are power source available so we can connect the media converter with no worries. And now it's powered up and connected to our SS point and everything is already powered on. And I'm going to insert the SF pre-transceiver to connect with our fiber optic cable. Remember we use A to C and now let's pick, all right, this is the B string, let me connect with, and this is the A string, I'm going to connect with here. I connected with two buildings now, it leaves us the third building. And sometimes you might have a further distance you have to install, so that's why you might not have enough length for the fiber optic cable. And in this case, we can use a coupler. This is a fiber optic cable coupler. It can connect the fiber optic cable together. And I'm going to plug it in here with the C string. I'm just simply plug in this side of the coupler and use another fiber optic cable to plug into the other side. Now you can see the fiber optic cable are joined in already and I'm going to plug it in to the SFP transceiver over to the third media converter. And I'm going to power it up and connect with the third SS point. I'm just going to use a short patch cord to connect with our SS point here. All right, so everything is already powered up and the whole setup is pretty simple as you can see. So here are some more tips on how to use the fiber optic cable. When you pull the fiber, fiber optic cable outdoor, make sure you pull it over a conduit. With the conduit protection, you don't have to worry about your fiber optic cable get crushed. Or also, you can use the area installation where you pull it over a head on a pole or on a supported structure. And fiber optic cable is designed to work under a wide range of temperature. That's why it can work under harsh environment. So it's perfectly used outdoor. Now, here's the video on how to set up the fiber optic link if there are no power source available. And thank you so much for watching us today. I'll see you next time.